Hello Riders, this is the third week of LAC 480 and this week's assignment can be found on Blackboard. So I'm going to go to Blackboard and it's on found on Discussion 3. So the first thing you should be doing is continuing to read from the Easy Rider and this time it's from pages 72 to 100 and that covers conducting research, evaluating sources and taking notes, integrating sources and avoiding plagiarism, writing a research project. So that's from pages 72 to 100 highlighted right here. Okay? So that's the first thing you should be doing this week. The second thing is we're continuing the process of analyzing research. Okay? And we're going to find other sources of information. So most of your papers should be based on peer-reviewed and scholarly research. But you can find some interesting uh, information from popular uh, sources. So you're going to be reading this this uh, this this article here, and the article is found over here. It is a letter from Birmingham. So this is a letter written by Martin Luther King. You can see it was written in April of '63. He was jailed in Birmingham and wrote a letter to his fellow clergymen, and it became quite famous and it was published in its own book. So you're going to be reading that and then answering on a one-page paper in Word what is the main point of King's letter? What arguments does he present? Do you find his letter persuasive? Why, why not? The whole point of this is for you to really analyze and dig deep into a paper so that you can get the information and glean the information out. So that's what you'll be doing with the papers that you'll be reading for your own research paper. And that's where we're at right now. You're going to be starting the process soon of finding five articles per week for your paper. And so you really want to be a critical analyzer of these papers. You may have had this experience in other classes, such as the early stats class, or in uh, the early writing classes, ethics, and uh, other classes such as that. So this is now time to practice that ability to analyze and critically read these articles. So that's going to be the article again. It's a letter from Birmingham by Martin Luther King. So this is what you'll be doing for the second part. Okay. The third part is you have a choice of finding an article on justice or viewing a film about justice. So that's what this is all about right here, number three. And what you'll be doing is viewing a video. It could be a movie, it could be a film. It could be uh, anything related to that. If you're not sure, just check with me. And uh, so you're going to write a page on that. But first, let me give you some ideas of articles that have been recently uh, printed. And one of them is about Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick is a uh, National Football League football player, which is redundant. He played for the San Francisco 49ers. He, was, uh, he went to the... Uh, the uh, NFC conference finals a couple of years ago and uh, so that he in fact I think he went to the Super Bowl yes he did so he was quite a, a good ball player and a couple of years ago he started taking a knee during the anthem if you've been paying attention to the political uprising about that you may be wondering what is the basis of his uh, his his um, protest and so it's related a lot to the protests of the 60s it's a, it's a quiet protest He's not throwing bricks through windows, and many uh, athletes have fallen in his way uh, to cut to to do what he uh, did as well. So you may want to read about Colin Kaepernick and find out some more information about. It. That's just an example. For about films, you can find films if you are a subscriber to Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu or any of those streaming networks or even HBO will have some and you might find one on uh, regular t uh, television broadcast television or cable television and I just happened to find like six incredible social justice films now on Netflix this is a, a this is a few months old so uh, Netflix does get rid of some uh, some films at particular times but these were the films at the time and you can see Hotel Rwanda was an award-winning film and uh, so these are some of them on just general Black History Month, as we know. Uh, Twelve movies that can will inspire to make a difference. So there's a bit of social justice. Selma, which was a critically acclaimed film of a couple of years ago, in 2015, so three years ago now. 
and uh, Spotlight, which won the Academy Award in 2015, and uh, of course Mandela, and so these are just examples of some of them that you would be dealing with. And uh, the, another topic that's in the news that could be an article that could give you some ideas is, uh, or an idea, is about the Me Too, uh, tr uh, Me Too uh, movement in the country, and uh, it, that's a big social justice uh, issue as well. So you may be interested in looking at that for your paper. So once you've viewed or read another article, you're going to write a one-page, this minimum, analysis of the article of film. So this time again, you're delving into the article or the film and finding some critical analyses of it. So you're going to write a per, an article, you're practicing in third person, that's how your research paper is going to be written. It's going to be an active voice. If you're not sure, look it up. And if you use citations, reference it correctly. So, you have two documents to write this week. The, tech, the two documents should be in word format. Attach them on to the discussion board. You don't have to print them out. You don't have to send them to me either. And this will be due on Friday, February 9th. And the response will be due uh, for, for response to one of your classmates by February 14th. So, hopefully you have, this will be uh, something interesting for you to do. And again, it's a way to get you to read critically. And I hope that you have a good week. Thank you.